I am Dr. Michelle Eckler, Supervisor of Technology for Teaching and Learning with the Waterbury Public Schools. And today I am going to show you what to do when your Google Calendar is no longer showing up properly in your Outlook Calendar, or if you've never actually attached your Google Calendar to your Outlook Calendar, this will also help you do that. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is have both of your calendars open in your browser. I have my Google Calendar open in one, and then I have my um, Outlook Calendar opened in the other. And when you log into your email, so I'll show you here's my mail, you're going to want to make sure you go down, click up here to your little um, waffle icon, and click on Calendar. So you want to make sure you're in your calendar for this to work. The first thing you're going to do is if you already have an existing Google Calendar attached to your calendar here and you're having problems with it, you're going to click on that calendar over in this area here. You can see I don't actually have any calendars under other calendar, but if I were to have one, I would right click that and click delete calendar. That would remove it completely from my system. Now I want to go back into my Google Calendar. And I'm going to scroll down to the name of my calendar. You might have a bunch of calendars here, especially if you have calendars that have been shared with you or if you have calendars that are attached to, say, a Google Classroom. You're going to go to the calendar that you want to share to your Outlook and you click on this little, these little three dots right here, the More menu, and you click on Settings and Sharing. Now you're going to want to scroll all the way down. You're going to keep going, keep going, and keep going until you find this spot here that says secret address in iCal format. Unless you make your Google Calendar completely public for everyone, you don't want to use, you won't be able to use any other of these addresses up here. You'll have to use the secret address. So the secret address is the one you're going to want. You click on this little copy to clipboard button here. And it says you don't want to give this to other people. Absolutely you don't. This is just so that you can share your calendars across platforms. So you click OK and it will automatically, you'll see at the bottom, successfully copy to clipboard. You go back into your Outlook calendar and up here at the top you click Add Calendar from Internet. You put that address in there, so paste that in and give it a name. So I'm going to click Google and click Save. It might take a couple of seconds to load. And now you can see I actually have double calendars here um, because I now have my Google Calendar and my Outlook Calendar. And since mine have already been synced, you're going to see some things show up twice. Um, you can very easily just look at one or the other. Um, but this is how you can make sure that you're not going to miss anything since we are currently moving between two different calendar types. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'd be more than willing to assist you.